Hi guys and welcome to the economics of entertainment. In this video, we're going to discuss how exactly your favorite athlete, musician and or influencer scam the very people who make them relevant. In other words, how they scam the general public, their fans and their followers. I know it may be a hard pill to swallow, but no matter how much money you spend on a season ticket to watch your favorite athlete or sports team, no matter how much money you spend to see your favorite musician, no matter how much money you pay to watch a movie or view content, the reality is that your favorite sports team, athlete, influencer, entertainer, and or musician probably does not give a flying monkeys about you. Because of this, scamming fans directly or indirectly by endorsing other scams is something that far too many athletes, musicians and influencers have been caught up in in the recent past. In this video, we'll outline examples of this, the motivations behind this behavior and what fans can do to avoid being scammed by their favorite whatever. The fallout from the FTX scandal saw athletes Tom Brady and Steph Curry caught up in accusations of knowingly scamming their fans by endorsing the cryptocurrency exchange. In essence, this was due to associating themselves with the fraud in exchange for, you guessed it, money. So what was FTX? FTX was a leading centralized cryptocurrency exchange and at its peak was valued at $32 billion. But unfortunately for all those who had trusted the exchange, the house of cards came crashing down in 2022 due to a surge of customer withdrawals. This was because of concerns over business practices at FTX. This pushed FTX into bankruptcy and shook the crypto markets. So fans who trusted the exchange due to celebrity endorsements were left with a bitter taste in their mouths. But scamming fans is not limited to sports. Also in music, this seems to be a popular trend. In 2021, the musician Takashi69 scammed fans out of millions by promoting an NFT which failed to live up to expectations. The rapper was the face of an NFT which promised to donate funds to charity. It also promised other things such as a verified holders chat for those who bought the NFT, weekly raffles and prizes, and a game of some sort. But fans were left with absolutely nothing after buying the NFT. The website was subsequently disabled and then the rapper apologized saying that he was just endorsing the NFT, that it wasn't his NFT and played dumb as if to say he knew nothing about the scam. He then proceeded to distance himself from the NFT and subsequently started to promote, you guessed it, another NFT. Seriously, you can't make this ish up. Now, similarly, rapper Lil Uzi Vert scammed fans out of millions in 2021 by promoting another NFT, one that was named Eternal Beings. The play he ran was identical to that of Takashi69, which was to promote the NFT, get fans to buy in, and then after the sale, distance himself from the NFT by removing social media posts referencing it. As a result, fans were left holding the bag with NFTs that were essentially worthless. Another egregious example of an influencer using their influence to scam their audience is that of Kim Kardashian. Back in 2021, she was promoting a cryptocurrency, Ethereum Max. In exchange for money, she promoted the crypto on her Instagram, which had a following of over 200 million people. The grift here was clear for all to see. Pay Kim Kardashian to promote a crypto and hopefully get her fans to buy in, pump up the crypto's price and perhaps dump it on the same people who bought into it. Ironically though, the Kim Kardashian endorsement done the opposite and prices have since tanked. What this does though, is demonstrate the blatant disregard on Kim Kardashian's behalf for her followers. But honestly, are you surprised? Let me know down in the comments below. Whilst you're there, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. So the real question is, why do athletes, musicians and influencers align themselves with scams? The first, more cynical response is because they do not care about their fans and just want to make a quick buck. Those who have little to no regard for their fans may be of the opinion that 
These scams are not going to be around forever, so the opportunity to make a lot of money quickly may not exist again. So why not take advantage of it now? I mean, it's not like they have a real or personal relationship with any one of their fans. This may be a hard pill to swallow for some, but most famous people cannot give a rat's ass about what happens to you tomorrow, let's be honest. But the question assumes the celebrity understands they're endorsing or promoting a scam. Sometimes this may not be the case. There is a possibility that a celeb does not know the extent to which the NFT or crypto that they're promoting is a scam. Some of them really do not have the ability to discern when a crypto or NFT is simply trying to leverage their celebrity to pump and dump some scam and this is because they care more about money than anything else. Most celebrities are simply told by management that they're set to make upwards of $500,000 for promoting an NFT or crypto, which on the surface seems like a good deal. The downside is glossed over and any consideration of what could happen to investors or fans is briefly discussed. It's a classic case of ask no questions, hear no lies. So in a nutshell, athletes, musicians and influencers scam their fans because of two things, pure greed, naivety and or a mixture of both. Now given some of the celebrities mentioned have huge followings, they should have been more responsible when endorsing a scam, especially those related to NFTs and random coins. In the defense of some athletes and entertainers, if the Miami Heat were blind enough to accept FTX as the sponsor of their arena, can you really blame athletes in particular for thinking everything was okay? Perhaps not, but who knows? In any case, the fact athletes, musicians and influencers seldom ask questions about the source of funds and the intention behind using them to endorse a particular product is worrying. But what we should be thinking about is how to protect you from these scams. Now firstly, if an athlete, musician or influencer who has no background in investments is telling you to buy into something finance related, this should immediately be a red flag. Just run away. To support my sentiment towards celebrity endorsements of investment ideas, let's have a look at what SEC Chair Gary Gensler had to say back in 2017. When celebrities or influencers endorse investment opportunities, including crypto asset securities, it doesn't mean that those investment products are right for all investors. I think it's safe to say Gary Gensler hit the nail on the head. Now, for as long as there are unregulated markets and opportunities to make money, people will be scammed. Plain and simple. That is the unfortunate truth. What we can do, however, is use the recent evidence with the crypto boom and NFT craze as proof that not all celebrities care about their fans. So please approach any investment idea brought to you by an athlete, musician, entertainer or influencer with extreme caution. As always, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Peace.